No sooner than we arrive in Hup, we're setting off on our next destination, located in Seydisfjord. We are again reminded of the dramatic landscapes as we journey along the lonely roads. Seeing this whole new side of Iceland, we were constantly on the lookout for things of interest, and it didn't take long to find something worth stopping for. Part of the beauty about going along the east side is we've got destination A, destination B, three hour, three and a half hour drive away. What we don't know is what we're going to see along the way. So these places are perfect for just sort of stopping by, you know, just taking your time, taking your nature and just seeing what Iceland has to offer. You can tell the wind's coming from the south and southeast. Waves are pretty rocky at best. Right then, time to keep moving. Got ourselves uh, about a three hour, two hour 45 drive now to our destination. That's not to say we won't stop at all along the way. Might be some more cool things to go and see. Can you see Penny? What's that? What's that side? Yeah. So we're just driving through this road, uh, thinking about lunch, and then we saw this beautiful waterfall with a picnic spot right next to it. And we thought, now seems a good time as any. And, and if I could find them, Along this route, we also saw reindeer as well. We know the reindeer is on the eastern side of Iceland, but I just thought you'd see signs for it and never see one, but we actually saw about a dozen or so. There was a moment where we said goodbye to the coast and ventured inland, not realising we were also leaving Route 1, which is the main route around Iceland and the route people often mean when they talk about driving the ring road. Though we cut the corner on the southeast, we were rewarded with even more stunning landscapes. So we're halfway to our next destination. It feels like we've been on the road for the whole day, really. And the scenery here is just spectacular. It's, oh my God. It feels more adventurous doing this. After soaking in this fantastic view, we continued our journey and immediately began our incline until we plateaued and drove straight into the thick of snow and ice. The road was framed by walls of snow and the roads were full of potholes making this an exciting drive. The 
views coming down the other side of the mountain were some of the best we've ever seen as we finally make our way into Sailor's Field. We've got to our accommodation, finally. Um, but look, we are situated in the Eastern Fjords and it's just absolutely spectacular. Obviously, by this point, you're probably getting a tour of the accommodation. So allow me to show you some of the other places around our accommodation, starting with the exteriors. Just a short walk away at the sea, um, where we've got the shipping lines for all the like, shipping containers and ferries. Look at that, what, what a view. I don't think we're gonna get a lot of light pollution here, so fingers crossed. If we get a clear night, I mean, we've got blue skies already, which is a good sign. Fingers crossed, we'll get to see the Northern Lights tonight. So the forecast of the Northern Lights suggests it's gonna be twice as strong as when we saw it a few nights ago. The skies appear to be clear where we're gonna be. I'm very hopeful. I'm really hopeful. We have to sort of try these things, don't we? So just on our way out now to get some food, I was recommended a bar and grill shortly where I checked in. Um, so hopefully it's as good as it sounds. This will be the first time we've actually eaten out since we've got here because we normally just cook something back at the place that we're in. The most expensive thing on the food menu is £25, so that's for a pork steak. So it's not too bad actually, considering we're in a very remote place. Cheers. What are the colours? Red. Red. Purple. Purple. Are you winning? So we've had our dinner tonight, had some beers. And we also had a cocktail each, obviously not penny. So with the cocktails, the beers and all the food, that meal cost us 111 pounds. But you know, we're not eating it every night. It's just a bit of a one-off really. Almost, you know, to celebrate the halfway point around Iceland. One, two, two three. three. Yeah, let me get ahead. <laughs> One, two, three. three. Yeah. Yeah. Nearly back to our accommodation, just there. Definitely the sky is getting clearer. Look at that blue sky. So all being well, the lights will be out tonight. <laughs> Tell Daddy the story. What, what happened? What happened? Were you running? Yeah. Then what happened? Tell me. Say it again. You ran and fell down. Did you hurt your fingers? No, you didn't, because mommy hurt you. <laughs> you lying to daddy. <laughs> you being a cheeky monkey. <laughs> it's getting dark now, and we shall shortly be aurora hunting. And we've got about half an hour until it gets completely dark. I can see something in the sky, but I think it might just be clouds. <laughs> 